Man sees disaster unfolding and makes a decision that ends his professional career. Shavarsh Karapetyan is a well-known name all throughout Armenia. As a competitive swimmer, Karapetyan has been known for being the fastest competitive swimmer in all of Armenia. However, Karapetyan's most memorable moment in his life actually has nothing to do with his competitive swimming. In fact, he's been dubbed a hero by many of the locals when he decided to do something extraordinary in the face of danger. However, this one decision may have cost him his career. Back in 1976, Shavarsh Karapetyan was one of the most successful competitive swimmers ever seen in Armenia. He was dubbed an international hero for his amazing talent, and with that, he could have easily glided through life. However, when a disaster began to unfold before his very eyes, Karapetyan knew he had to help. Shavarsh was born in Armenia back in 1953, when it was still a part of the former Soviet Union. While growing up, Shavarsh's family friends suggested that Shavarsh's parents sign him up for swimming. It seems that this one suggestion would forever change his life. As Shavarsh began to train, the Soviet national team began to take notice of his skills. They immediately set off to train him for competition and were blown away by how naturally gifted he was. Over time, he managed to break 11 world records and win the world championship 17 times. Shavarsh was especially skilled in fin swimming. Fin swimming athletes are trained to swim entirely underwater while wearing a giant flipper on both feet and receiving oxygen through a snorkel. It's not an easy technique, however, Shavarsh was able to master it. For the next few years, Shavarsh was a star and everyone knew his name. However, by the mid-1970s, his fame began to falter as his name was left off national roster in 1976. At first, Shavarsh thought that this might be the end of his career, however, he had no idea that this was actually the start of a new beginning. Upset with the way things were going, Shavarsh decided to head over to the Armenian capital of Yerevan. He decided that he'd begin his training there. One morning as he was completing his 12-mile run around the lake, he noticed something unbelievable. Shavarsh stood and watched as a trolley bus carrying a full load of passengers began to veer off the road and crash into the icy lake. There were many bystanders all around calling out for help. However, Shavarsh knew he couldn't stand idly by. He knew that he would have to try and save the drowning passengers. The bus immediately began to sink down into the icy lake as it crashed down. Shavarsh noticed there were some young boys standing near the lake and immediately warned them not to go in. Despite being absolutely exhausted, Shavarsh decided to jump into the icy cold waters. The water was incredibly dirty and at first it was hard for Shavarsh to see anything as he swam around. However, he used his instincts and soon enough found the bus. He managed to break open one of the windows and pulled out an unconscious passenger to safety. When the authorities finally arrived to the scene, they were shocked by what they saw. It seems that Shavarsh continued to go in and out of the water with another passenger he managed to rescue. Despite having cut his leg on some glass, Shavarsh continued his rescue mission. Shavarsh was able to single-handedly save the lives of 20 people that had been on the trolley bus. He'd pulled out some others, but unfortunately they hadn't survived the crash. He only stopped his rescue mission when he began to run out of oxygen. After the rescue, the Soviet Union kept pretty quiet about Shavarsh's actions. However, that didn't seem to bother him a bit. All Shavarsh wanted was to get better so he could begin competing again. However, as he laid in the hospital, the doctors noticed he wasn't getting any better. It seems Shavarsh's rescue mission had left him with some permanent damage. The blood loss in sub-zero temperatures caused him to have nervous fatigue, and the contaminated water gave him sepsis in his lungs. The doctors told him he'd most likely never be able to compete again. Finally, when he did get better, Shavarsh took part in a few swimming events here and there. However, for the most part, he stepped away from competing and settled into an ordinary life. Still, he never regretted taking his actions from that day. Although the Soviet media attempted to keep this story quiet for a very long time, eventually the news got out about what a hero Shavarsh was. Once the newspapers began to write about him, he was rewarded greatly. He received dozens of medals and became a household name throughout Armenia. In fact, Shavarsh became so popular that he soon began to receive tons of fan mail. People began to send him letters thanking him for his courageous actions. One astronomer even told him that he'd recently discovered a new asteroid and was going to name it Shavarsh. Still, despite all the fan mail and glory, Shavarsh remained an incredibly humble man. A man can find himself somewhere people need his help. I am not an exception, he stated. The trolley bus rescue also wasn't the last time he found himself rescuing other people's lives. Later on in his life, Shavarsh came across another situation where his heroism would prove to be helpful. 
As he was walking, he passed by a burning home with people trapped inside. He quickly sprinted in and saved the lives of many of the residents before the building collapsed. To this day, Shavarsh still remains quite a popular figure. In fact, in 2014, he had the honor of carrying the Olympic torch for two legs leading up to the Winter Olympics in Sochi. He was honored to be able to carry it. In the present day, Shavarsh lives in Moscow with his family where he runs a shoe manufacturing business called Second Breath. He's still incredibly humble and prefers to never brag about all the lives he saved. However, his vast collection of awards speak for themselves.